Hello everyone, how are you today? So after we've learned how to measure to the nearest half inch and quarter inch, today we're gonna learn how to collect and display measurement data. Before we start, how can we collect and display this measuring data? You can gather measuring data by finding the length of several objects. The data collected can be useful. Now get your ruler, your inch ruler, because we will need it. In Open page 729 and let's start with the first example. Taylor is organizing a box of buttons by their size to the nearest half inch. Which size appears more often, half inch or one inch? So we need to measure the buttons below to the nearest half inch organize the data in the tally chart and then, and then display it in a line plot. I have used a ruler to measure each of these buttons and to see which buttons are nearest to half inch and which is near to one inch. You can use your own inch ruler and measure the buttons in your book. I've discovered that these buttons have a are near to one inch and those other buttons are near to half inch now let's count how many buttons are near to half inch to put them in our tally chart one two three four so we will put four tally marks now how many buttons are near to one inch one two three four five so we will put five tally marks now let's add these on our line plot how many half inch one two three four how many one inch one two three four five so taylor has more buttons that measure one inch than half inch now turn the page to example number two this time we will measure to the nearest quarter inch of which size are there more paper clips so we use your inch ruler to measure these paper clips and write each number on top of each paper now i've used my ruler and measured all the paper clips just a quick hint from the fractions chapter remember two fourths is equal to one half and four fourth is equal to one whole so it's the same thing here when, while working with inches two quarters equals one half of an inch four quarters is equal to one whole inch now we've measured all the paper clips let's put them in our tally chart how many has one fourth let's count them together one two so we will put two tally marks now how many two fourths or half of an inch one two three so we will put three tally marks now how many three fourths one two also three so we will put again three tally marks and the last one four fourth or one inch one two three also three tally marks now let's put these data in the line plot how many are zero we don't have any zeros how many one fourth or quarter one two how many are nearest to two fourth or half an inch one two three how many near to three fourth also three and finally how many near to one inch or four quarters one 
two, also three. So there are equal amounts of all sizes except which one? They are all equal except which paper clip? Yes, the one that is near to one quarter of an inch. Moving to the guided practice. What does the X's represent on the line plot in example number two? We know from the past lesson that the X's represent the number of paper clips that are fraction of an inch in length. So we are putting the number of the paper clips and each number on top of which inch is it. Now I want you to go and solve page 731. Before you start, you need to know in order to finish this page, you need to measure eight different pencils to the nearest inch. Eight different pencils to the nearest inch. So I'm waiting for your answers on Class Dojo and don't forget your homework in Kahoot.